Hello and welcome back to Jack Knives Reviews. I'm of course your host, Jack Knives. And welcome back to Game Month. Why don't we dip our foot back in the pool of the gaming origin? This time we look at a fun adaptation. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. A charismatic bard named Edgin, along with a barbarian, a paladin, a sorcerer, and a druid, all go on an epic quest to try to find this ancient relic taken by an evil rogue Together they have to fight off against the forces of magic, dragons, puzzles, and all with their wits about them in an attempt to find their legacy and their legend together. Watching this feels so fun. I've only played, I believe, maybe one or two versions of Dungeons and Dragons with some friends. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm really, really into it because it's a very, very time consuming thing. And, you know, I like to dip my foot in a little bit of everything now and again. But this feels like an actual fun campaign by people who are actually fans of Dungeons and Dragons. What I mean by that is usually when they do adaptations of properties, you can tell that they're kind of pulling a playing it too safe card. But here they really, really just went balls to the wall how a game with a bunch of fun friends who just don't even care about the rules would make a game like this seems like the actual kind of game i could see smosh or critical role playing just this kind of fun make it up as you go along dialogue this weird thing of like forgetting oh yeah we live in a magical world and the cast really exudes that fun energy from the actual game that fun exuberance that you can get when you're in the right crowd playing these kind of games and i love that because it's very rare to come across people that are very in the same like-mindedness and you kind of grow a strong bond not just with these characters we grow a strong bond with the people that you're playing with these kind of games and this movie exudes that kind of energy that fun goofy fantasy energy eh, some people might be thrown off by it because they expect it to be just a straightforward fantasy romp and unfortunately we've already had an adaptation that was similar to that and it was terrible what this one did was it took that what if comedians made a D, D game and it feels like that it's fun it's goofy it's got half of it is so unserious you can't take it seriously but then some parts are just really cool effects are fantastic i can't really talk more about this movie without giving away too much but i do love the cast especially chris pine has this subtle charm where he has the balance of being a complete idiot loser and also a really charming protagonist at the same time. And it's just really funny to see that. Some of the characters I really loved, like I love the druid girl, she was really fun. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez plays, let's, let's be honest, Michelle Rodriguez in everything. Uh, but like basically if you put Michelle Rodriguez in a fantasy movie, this is exactly that character. There's so many little things, like nuances, that you end up enjoying more and more as you watch it. And if you're a fan of D&D, you really, really laugh at it. You have an outline of where it's going to go, and then you have those characters who just go rogue and just do their own thing and don't even care. That's kind of what this movie's like. And because of that, it has this really fun element to it that it kind of almost made me want to play D&D with some friends. Almost. I give Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves four and a half out of five. Have you seen Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves? Let me know in the comments down below. Come back for more game month and I'll see you next time.